Today we are making a Thanksgiving sandwich and I could not be any more excited about this recipe because this is my most favorite holiday sandwich, any time of the year sandwich, everyday kind of sandwich because I would love to eat this every day. It is that good. And it's perfect because you combine all of those amazing Thanksgiving flavors and put it in between two pieces of bread. It is fantastic. You are going to want to stick around for this one. I'm Chef Ani, so enough talking. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Now the best part about this Thanksgiving sandwich is you can use all of those Thanksgiving leftovers that you have in your fridge. So I like to put kale salad in my Thanksgiving sandwich and this is a very important component in the sandwich, I think, because it adds these crunchy, chewy texture to the sandwich plus it's gorgeous because it has this beautiful green color in the middle. If you have leftover kale salad in your fridge, perfect. If you need a recipe, Recipe. I'll leave a link down below. Now the first thing with our kale salad, I like to use a little onion, some fresh garlic, and some thyme. And I put that in a little bit of oil along with freshly squeezed lemon juice and some salt. And the secret to really good kale salad is to get in there with your hands and just massage it. And that just kind of breaks it down and allows it to become a lot softer. The first time I had a Thanksgiving sandwich was in New York City um, at this place called Cinnamon Snail. And every time I go, I have to go to that restaurant at least once and get this sandwich because it is so delicious. And they call this sandwich the Thanksgiving Sandu sandwich. And it is so good. It is so good. I mean, you go to New York, there is so much good food there but I end up going to a, a little food truck on the side. <laughs> on the side, well, they actually have a storefront now and it's really good, but it used to just be a food truck. Do you remember when we tried to hunt down that food truck and figure out where it was <laughs> in the city? It was hard, now they have a storefront much, much easier. So you can see, look at this kale salad. It has changed a lot. So we're moving on to our bread now. You want to have really good bread because if you have terrible bread, the, the sandwich is just gonna go downhill from, from here. You can also use a couple slices of bread. The key in this sandwich is to toast the bread. Absolutely must toast the bread. So it, whether that is in a toaster or in the oven, either works. So let's talk about the roast. Here we have my family's favorite holiday roast. We make this from scratch. It's completely plant-based and vegan. If you'd like to see the recipe, I'll leave a link down below. But if you happen to be making this for Thanksgiving, then it makes a lot of sense that you have some leftovers and you can just pop them into this sandwich, right? The key is to not make these too thick and chunky. You want those thin, beautiful pieces. Pop them in a pan and get a little color on both sides. Now we're going to make this really special Thanksgiving sauce that I like to put in this sandwich. It really makes it special. You can use a store-bought plant-based mayo or you can make it yourself. I have a recipe for this, so if you want to make your own mayo from scratch, I'll leave a link down below. Some onion and garlic powder, some paprika, a little salt, and a touch of something sweet. I'm using maple syrup today, obviously, because I love it. But you could also use agave nectar or whatever kind of sweetener you like to use. And we're going to finish it off with some lemon juice. You could add a little cayenne or some spice to this to really make it a little spicier for those people who like that. And the last thing we need before assembling this sandwich is some cranberry sauce. Now I have a recipe for cranberry sauce. I'll leave it down below, but you probably already have cranberry sauce in your fridge for Thanksgiving, so then you can just use that. So our bread has come out of the oven. It's nice and warm and perfect for making a sandwich because I'm going to make half of one because it is a pretty big sandwich. <laughs> We're going to start with our amazing sauce. Actually, <laughs> Story time. One of my mom and dad's first dates, my dad took my mom on a picnic. Isn't that cute? And they were out on this picnic and dad had brought sandwiches. And see, my dad worked in a sandwich shop through college and he had learned in that sandwich shop that you're supposed to take the mayo or whatever you're spreading on the bread to the edges 
of the bread. You should be able to taste it through the whole sandwich. And so on this picnic, the dad was letting mama know that you have to take the, the sauce or whatever, the mayo to the edges. And he always laughs and said, it's a wonder she married me. <laughs> Anyway, I love that story and every time I make dad a sandwich I make sure it goes to the edges because he notices that stuff. Next we're going in with our meat. I'll put that in there too. Beautiful kale salad. And then we go in with the cranberry sauce and this is all personal preference on how much cranberry sauce, the ratio of cranberry sauce to sandwich. Like my mom likes it a little bit on the lower spectrum and I'm like on the other side, like I like a lot of cranberry sauce in my sandwich, so it kind of depends on you, what you like. See, if we were building this sandwich together, yours would probably look a little different than mine, but that's okay. And then you can add a little bit more of this sauce if you want to and I want to because it's delicious. And there you go. This is the world's best sandwich and I am one happy, happy cookie. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. There is so much good in this sandwich. You have that beautiful crusty bread. You have the meat. You have that special sauce. You have the chewiness from the kale. You have the little sweet notes from the cranberry sauce. There's so much flavor, so much texture going on. This is my favorite sandwich. And if you try it, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you and your family have an absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving. And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday with another video. Thank you.